Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. This is a uh, note for my old Android phone. Currently I'm using S8 Plus with the deck station. And <clears throat> my old note 4 just gathering dust. So I decided to turn this phone into my a gaming system in my living room. And I'll show you how I did it with the old Samsung Media Center Hub. Before deck station, Samsung already tried uh, to create something that turns your Android phone into all in one place um, PC. And they tried to do that with this device. This is a Samsung, let me unplug it and have a quick look closer. This is a Samsung's Media Center Hub, a multimedia dock station. Sorry, so yeah, it's basically a turns your Android or Samsung phone into a PC-like experience on your HD monitor. So it's got the connections like uh, audio power and HDMI. Audio sadly lacking on a deck station. On one side you have two USB ports, on another side you have one USB port. And there is like a cradle thing where you just plug in your phone, which is sometimes a struggle. So I plug in in there, it sits in there and turns my Note 4 into a PC like experience. So let's plug everything in. So what I'll do now is I'll take the power that comes from a wall, plug in there. I'll take the HDMI cable, plug inside. And right now, let's connect. So I plug my phone in. It should detect the power is coming through. And it should detect that I have a HDMI cable connected. And what that means is one of my screens right now showing the mirror image of Note 4. So what you see there is basically what's represented on this phone. The trick to actually turn this into the <coughs> PC-like experience, you need to connect a peripheral, preferably USB um, keyboard or mouse. So if I'll plug that in inside of the, the docking station, the screen goes off, but what happens now, the actual display on the screen still stays the same. So right now, I can actually move around and use this phone as a browser. As you can see right now, I'm going to a parasitgaming.com website, which is the app that we're going to use to turn my old Note 4 into this gaming system. But I'm using right now this as a browser. As you can see, I'm a... I can go and open more tabs and it's um, acts the same as I would get on the, it's like a PC, it's, it's a, a, a younger brother of deck station, if you know what I mean. So let's say I'm going to go to YouTube, so open YouTube website, so it's goes to go into YouTube, loading some pages, I can watch the videos, I can log in, do all the bits. So all, all well and good. So let's go back to um, Parsec. So first thing, <clears throat> I need to install the Parsec on my Note 4 as and install it as a client. To do that, I need to first of all enable unknown sources. So if I'll go and find the settings on this phone. Sorry, I've not used this phone quite a while, so I don't know all this. So keyboard is working and I can see unknown sources is being ticked. That means that my phone and I, well, it means that I can install third party apps onto my phone. So let's go there. Just before I go all the way install it, I'm just gonna in uninstall the, <clears throat> the previous Parsec version. If you watch my previous video about Parsec on the deck station, I mentioned that cause you uh, side loading or installing third party Parsec on your phone, this app won't update automatically, so sometimes you're just going to try to connect and it's going to say, oh, it's not working because your Android um, client is out of date, which is can cause problems. <clears throat> so let's go. Okay, which page it was? Oh, let's go here and let's type Parsec Cloud Gaming Download. So one of the first links should give me a, a direct access to the load page at the Parsec. 
Then scroll down, find experimental APK file. I click on that. It says, do you want to download it again? Yes, I would like to download it again because I'm going to show if I had a, um, a most recent version or this is a most recent version. So I'm just going to leave it running and it's going to download in about one minute. Well, four minutes, three minutes. Uh, currently, my Note 4 is connected via Wi-Fi. So there's no, no peripherals uh, to connect or <clears throat> no connections to get a Ethernet. It's not like on a on a deck station. Let me unplug that as well. Deck station has a, a connection uh, for Ethernet port for e Ethernet or wired connection of the broadband. Your internet. Uh, sadly, the deck station or the older media center don't have the Ethernet port, but it's got the audio jack. So you lose something, but you gain something else. So what, while it's installing, I will unplug that. That's just gonna turn my screen back on. I'm gonna leave this running. And now I'll plug in my wire, uh, wireless dongle for keyboard and mouse back to my PC. And right now, this is a PC screen. Sorry about the cameras being shaking. I'm just twisting the tripod. And what I'll do here, I'll go to Parsec Gaming Downloads.com. So instead of downloading the Android version, I need to download the Windows 7 Plus version. And what you, I already downloaded, installed it, <clears throat> but basically you just download this and install it on your Windows 10 or on your gaming PC. During installation, and like I mentioned in previous videos, it will ask you, do you want to install gaming peripherals or gaming controller drivers? Agree to that and install it. And when you installed, you, you need to run a Parsec. So as you can see here, I already have it. So I click there and it opens up. You're gonna need to create a username and a password on a Parsec website. It's easy to do. Just press start playing and sign up with your username, password and etc. When you signed up and create an account, use the same username and a password to log in on this page on this inside the software. And it should detect the actual computer that you're using right now. And if you've not done that previously, enable hosting is gonna be a small message pop up at the top next to your computer, a uh, word computer and reload button. If you can remember what you've done, just go to gear icon settings and check if hosting is enabled. When it's all done, your gaming PC is ready to start gaming. And now let's go back to uh, my Note 4. Download is finished on my Note 4 phone. So what I need to do, I need to go all the way to uh, uh, app draw, find my files, go to a download history and install the parsec that, that version that we just downloaded. Cause I'm not sure if I already had the newer version. Cause like I said, side loaded apps or especially parsec side loaded app don't update automatically on your Android devices. So I just do once in a while the fresh install just to make sure that I always have a, the most recent app. So while it's installing, what I'll do, I'm going to use my Xbox 360 wired controller to do some gaming. So click open and that's it. What's happened is already logged in with this app previously. So it kept my credentials, but first time when you're opening the Parsec Android app on your old Android phone, it will ask you to enter your username and password that you created earlier on a Parsec website. So already connected. So if I click connect now, is connecting to the host, which is means is connecting to my gaming PC, which is is on the left. So basically, what you see right now on this screen is my Note 4. What Note 4 getting? And this is my gaming PC. So basically, it's just mirroring the picture. Again, you need to play around with um, what's this called with um, resolutions. Get your most uh, well optimal resolution. But what I'm seeing here is brilliant, it's plenty for me. So then first thing, as you can see, I'm gonna use the mouse on Android to actually go and open Steam. So it's open Steam on my gaming PC and it's been streamed to my Note 4. I go full screen and I go big picture. So right now, big picture, Steam is running on my gaming PC and been streamed using Parsec to my Note 4. As you can see, what you see here is basically is the 
And don't forget, this is a gaming PC and it's been streamed to my Note 4, which is pre displays everything on the, my HD monitor. So let's get the camera again in a, in a position. And next I'll do is I'm gonna plug in my Xbox 360 wired controller to the side of my media center, like this. Again, I don't wanna give any permissions to any apps. So right now I'm gonna wait until the controller is gonna be recognized. Just in case if your controller don't wanna work as when you plugged in, close the Parsec app on your Android I mean, just kill it, just go to your tasks, just close the app totally, then connect the controller and then go and set up, um, uh, start the Parsec again. So just to show it to you right now, as you can see, this is my Note 4. This is a Xbox 360 wired controller. My Wi-Fi dongle, let the camera focus, my Wi-Fi keyboard and a mouse dongle, the my old Note 4, and I'm using the older version of, um, let's say, like I like to call it, younger brother of deck station. This is a multimedia dock station. It was created by Samsung a while back. I'm not sure if you still can buy those. As far as I know, about a couple of years ago, they discontinued. Samsung just discontinued this, this manufacturing, this item, obviously, in favor of deck station. So um, let's go back to my Note 4. So this is what you see is on my Note 4. How you can tell this is Android? Obviously, I still have a bar at the top. And I mean like this is notifications. So, right, let's get the controller. And now, let's go run the Bioshock Infinity. So right now, I'm playing this on my phone. But the actual game is running on my gaming PC. And just to show you what's the difference in picture, and I hope the camera will be able to pick it up. So just two seconds, let me move the camera a bit backwards. I'm gonna try to be gentle. And this is what you get. So the gaming monitor on the left and uh, note, well, gaming PC on the left and the actual Note 4 connected is on the right. Um, don't forget, uh, I'd like to mention that the actual screen on the right is HD and a screen on the left is only only here DVI connection with adapter. So right now uh, I'm gonna have a quick gaming. Um, again, Note 4 or Android using Parsec streaming app. On the right, an actual game, what you see on the left is actually what's happening on a PC. Again, brightness, contrast, and etc. you can mess about. But this is just to show it to you that you have old Android phone we still can go and do some gaming. So right now, let's go. Oh yeah, that's why I finished earlier. Is the doors gonna be open? No. Let's go. All right. In the face, in the face, anymore? Break the head, yes. There's another one here. Yes, in the face. That's it. They're all dead. So here we are. Um, I'm playing Bioshock Infinity. Obviously, the game is running on my um, gaming PC. I'm actually playing on my through my phone. Let me get the monitor a bit this way. Maybe it's going to be a better picture. Again, is is the is what you need to um, do a bit of tweaking with the resolution, with actual uh, what's this called actual bit rates and etc when you get all that then you will be able to enjoy the gaming even better okay let's go for it I disconnected the sound because I don't want to get any YouTube uh, uh, telling me that I'm using a uh, the audio and get uh, penalized by YouTube for using the wrong audios you know what I mean uh, policy so get there, can I actually, where I need to land, all right, land there, let's release the crows, in the head, oh, he's on fire now, get the apple, right, anyway, let's exit the, exit the desktop, again, 
the uh, the desktop I went back to a big picture mode and what you see on the left is a gaming PC just a part of it but also on the right is my note 4 and <clears throat> another thing is if you don't have this media center or multimedia docking thing this one give me two seconds I'll find the cable to show you how you can else how you can connect this and use your Android phone as a as your gaming streaming client Another way how you can connect your Android phone to your TV and use Android phone as a gaming computer is to use um, what is called MHL MHL adapter cable, which this is right now currently plugged into my phone. And the cable runs all the way to my HD AMI splitter, which is connected to a TV and then another cable of USB power getting from USB hub. So basically what that does is just to connect your phone and displays whatever you have on the phone screen on your monitor so let's say it can be your tv and etc so that's all you do is you connect this to your monitor or your tv or etc get your phone somewhere on a table somewhere next to a tv get the bluetooth controller connect a bluetooth controller something like xbox one controller or any android bluetooth gaming controllers you connect this Go run the game. So let's say I'm going to go and run the Parsec again. Let's connect to Parsec. So it's connecting to a Parsec. Let's go open Steam. And run Steam in a big picture mode. So for example, you have your gaming uh, Bluetooth controller connected. Come on camera, focus. Let's go back to a big picture mode. And that's it. Imagine this right now is connected to your TV. Your phone somewhere next to your TV. You connect to your Bluetooth controller and you can go and play games. That's all you need. Just an old Android phone. Just to be able to install <clears throat> this Parsec app on your Android device. Just to make sure. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the beginning of the video. So let me go back to a Parsec. Your Android phone must be Lollipop version or higher. So if you go to a downloads page, you will see Lollipop version or higher. Sun is very bright at the moment. So here we are. This is how you can use your old Android phone as your gaming streaming option. Connect to a TV, connect your Bluetooth controller. Or if you manage to get one of these, which is old Samsung multimedia dock station, I think it's called. I can remember. I just mentioned like a couple of minutes ago which is turning your phone into a PC-like experience if you connect this to a HDMI cable. So use one of these with your old Android phone and you can get a gaming streaming service, well, stream your PC gaming to your Android device in a living room or any other house, house room where you want to do some gaming. Your gaming computer can be anywhere in the house. You just plug that in into one of these or use, like I showed before, one of the MHL adapters, plug it in, connect the Bluetooth controller, and you can stream your games to any screen in the house and enjoy gaming. Actually, you're not even gaming. You can enjoy watching movies and etc. So this is it. This is how you uh, use your old Android phone as a gaming client or streaming client using app called Parsec. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. And like always, bye-bye.